Hey guys, Michael here, and I'm back to talk bricks. Today we're talking This Week in Bonus LEGO News, where every Saturday I bring you the LEGO stories you need to know. We've got a lot this week, from concept art for an unreleased LEGO movie to more from LEGO Masters. And this week I'm changing it up and bringing you guys my top 10 LEGO sets for 2020 that I'm most excited about. But before we jump in, I'm going to kick off another round of the weekly giveaway, so be sure to subscribe and leave a comment about this week's news. The holidays are over, but the deals don't stop, so I'm bringing you guys a couple from Amazon and Kohl's, and if you want to pick anything up and support the channel, there's always links in the description below. First up from the LEGO Movie 2, we've got Rex as Rexplorer for 42% off, and we also have Introducing Queen Whatever Wanabi for 50% off. Next from LEGO Minifigures, we've got the Disney Series 2 minifigures for 37% off. Next up from Ninjago, we've got Spinjitsu J for 40% off. And from Powerpuff Girls, we've got Bubbles Playground Showdown for 40% off. And from LEGO City, we've got the Jungle Mobile Lab for 27% off. Not to mention the Kohl's website is updated with even more LEGO 2020 sets, so if you're looking to pick any of these up before 2020, this could be a good option. Last week, we talked about how Universal may be taking over making Lego films, and there's already some news coming out from former The Billion Brick Race director, featuring some concept art and details about the film that could have been. He posted one of his sketches of a rough lineup of the characters that would be featured in The Billion Brick Race, as well as an interesting temporary logo for the film, which calls it a Lego movie film. There's a ton going on with the concept art with characters of all different types, and it's great to see that sort of representation. And this crew definitely seems to be a tough one with all of their tattoos and leather and chains. It's also interesting how one of the characters was wearing a Los Angeles Lakers jersey for Magic Johnson, and this Daredevil character features that larger body type from Nexo Knights. And it definitely caught my eye that we ended up getting a similar headpiece as this character with the Edna Mode minifigure. The director stated that the film he wanted was supposed to be a racing film about race, privilege, and gentrification, backed with his favorite 80s and 90s cop and action movie references. And this is a pretty interesting topic for a Lego movie, but it could have been a cool one. So while it doesn't seem especially likely that this movie will ever get made, it's definitely interesting to see what could have been. Next up, we also got another new trailer for the first season of LEGO Masters, and it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun, especially with this colorful cast of characters. And in this trailer, I sort of felt like I got a better sense of some of the personalities and some of the fun that we're going to have on the show. The trailer also showed off the set, and it reminded me of MasterChef with its large closing LEGO Masters doors and almost a pantry of LEGO bricks like they have a pantry of food on the MasterChef show. And it's very clear what you can do when you have a pantry full of so many many bricks, as we can see with some of the models shown off in the trailer. But my other big takeaway is that it seems that a lot of these gorgeous models won't meet a pretty end, as we see many of the sets in the trailer smashed, dropped, and even blown up. So I'm definitely curious to see what the prompt was for those weeks, and if dropping or blowing it up was part of the challenge. And it definitely seems like we can expect a lot of shocks and a lot of surprises throughout the show. Don't forget that LEGO Masters premieres Wednesday, February 5th, and you can watch it on Fox. Next up, over at LEGO Shop at Home, in the UK, you can actually pick up most of the 2020 sets right now. While here in the US, we just have to wait. They're also running a promotion with purchases of £35 or more. You can get this Build Your Own Birds LEGO Creator 3-in-1 polybag. And while this is available in the UK, there's no clear word as to how we'll be able to pick up this polybag here in the US. But here in the US and in other countries, there's actually some post-Christmas sales on a lot of different LEGO sets. The sets range between 20 and 50% off, and while 20% off may not seem like a lot, there are some sets you definitely want to take a look at. First up from Ant-Man and the Wasp, they've got Quantum Realm Explorers, which is a store exclusive in the US and is 20% off. The 2020 Brickheads, including the latest Christmas Brickheads, are all 20% off, so this is your last chance to get those. The Nightmare Batman is exclusive to this set, and the LEGO Movie 2 accessory set and pods are 50% off, so it's a great chance to get the Sore Babies. And of course, there's even more LEGO store exclusives, so check out all the links in the description below if you want to get anything on sale. Next up, this week LEGO released a building instructions app for iOS and Android, replacing the need to use the Lego Life app to get at your digital building instructions. The app is really simple to use. You can look at all the different themes and actually navigate to the set you want. Or if you look at your sets, it'll take anything you've already scanned into your Lego Life app. And then once you select one, you can easily start scrolling through the building instructions. It still has the scan functionality if you want to pull up a set that way. Or you can always search for the set directly and pull up the instructions that way. And while the app strangely sits in vertical mode, once you pull up the PDF instructions, you can turn your device sideways and use it that way. It's really convenient to use an app like this, and I'm glad that they separated it from 
from the Lego Life app, which not everyone would want to use. And if you want to pick it up for yourself, there's links in the description below. Next up, there are also three new Lego books coming out soon. First up from Lego Harry Potter, available now is a magical search and find adventure, which seems to be a little bit like Where's Waldo. And included inside is a Snape minifigure, which tends to come in some more expensive sets. And I do find it pretty funny how there's so many Lego Harry Potter books that you can almost get most of the characters just by buying books. Next up from DK, we've got the Lego Epic History Book, which includes a book with four exclusive Lego mini models. This book breaks down world history in a simple to digest way, with lots of Lego pictures to help explain everything. There definitely seems to be a lot of content packed into this that spans throughout all of human history. And I'll admit, if my US or world history classes had included a textbook like this, I think I may have been a little bit more interested. And next up from Lego Ninjago, we've got the Choose Your Ninja Mission book. This book is a choose your own adventure book with over 40 different endings. And looking over a lot of the different pages, it seems that the story will span across all of the different seasons of Ninjago, which feels a little bit like an Avengers Endgame like crossover event. The book also comes with a Ninjago Legacy J figure, which looks nice but is not exclusive. The Harry Potter book's the only one you can buy now, but I'll also leave pre order links in the description below so you can get all three. Next up, we've got the moment you guys have been waiting for the Talk Bricks Top 10 January 2020 sets that I'm excited about. With so many 2020 sets to choose from, this was a super hard list to make, and I used a lot of different factors such as build, minifigures, price, and a lot more. And while not every set in this list may be the best one releasing in 2020, they are the ones I'm most excited about. And because it was super hard to whittle it down to 10, I'm including a ton of honorable mentions. So let's jump into it. At number 10, we've got the Lego City Ice Cream Truck. At only $20, I think this is a really solid and colorful build, and I really love all these food truck designs like the pizza van from a previous wave. And the honorable mention here was for the Safari Off-Roader set, which also features a great build, the hollow tree, and the lion, but this one didn't have the same city universal appeal that the other one had. At number 9, we've got the Lego Creator Expert Modular Bookshop. This modular building features a really great design with tons of interesting building techniques, and I really love how this one feels like a classic return to form for the modular series. And this one likely would have ranked higher if it wasn't as expensive as it is. At number 8 from Lego Avengers, we've got the Avengers Speeder Bike Attack Set. For an oversized motorcycle build, I think this one has a pretty unique look that we haven't gotten, and at a $20 set with three minifigures, especially two of them being exclusive, I think this one's a pretty cool one. And this one beat the Avengers Truck Takedown set just because of price per exclusive minifigure alone. And while I like a lot of the exclusive minifigures in the Spider-Man sets, only one exclusive minifigure ever comes in each set. At number 7, we've got the LEGO Speed Champions Ferrari F8 Tributo. The build here for this car is just stunning, and I really love the way they captured all of the shaping with the new 8-wide design. This one will look great on any LEGO fan's desk, and I think that for the price of $20, it's just the cheapest of the new Speed Champions. At number 6 from LEGO Hidden Side, we've got the Haunted Fairground set. I chose this one because of the fun fairground concept, and I really love that this set includes those two clown ghosts, as well as a new version of Jack and Parker. Honorable mentions include Welcome to the Hidden Side, with its four exclusive figures at only $20. And El Fuego's Stunt Plane, which features a great build, but not as many minifigures. At number 5 from LEGO Star Wars, we've got Poe Dameron's X-Wing Fighter. The build for this is certainly similar to ones we've gotten in the past, but I really love the way this one features those new curved pieces on either side. This set also includes a couple great exclusive figures like Janna and one of the Knights of Ren, which I think will be very popular. Next up at number 4 from LEGO Ninjago, we've got the Gamer's Market Set. At only $30, this really feels like the best people pack that we've ever gotten. With so many unique mini figure designs, as well as some exclusive accessories like the blue Benny the Spaceman helmet. This set just feels really emblematic of this new wave, and I really love the minifigures including Pink Zane and that Kill Bill style Harumi. At number 3, we've got from LEGO Avengers, the Iron Man mech. At only $10 and featuring a really amazing exclusive Iron Man figure, I think this set is a standout, and price was a huge factor for this one. The honorable mention here is certainly the Thanos mech with its large Infinity Gauntlet, but it's really that Iron Man figure that sealed the deal. At number Two from LEGO Star Wars, we've got the Mandalorian Battle Pack. As a huge fan of the Mandalorian TV show, this one was a clear standout because of its unique four Mandalorian figures. And while this may not be the army builder style battle pack that a lot of people like, I just think all the designs being exclusive and unique really makes this one a standout. But before we get to number one, let's talk about a couple sets that were fun but just couldn't make this list. A standout for me from Ninjago were these new arcade pods, but I definitely have to say that the J-Pod is my favorite with that cool Rockstar avatar design. 
design. And while certainly not for everyone, I really liked the LEGO Disney Storybook Adventure sets, which feature a cool fold-out design and those hilarious mini mini dolls. From LEGO Creator, I really liked the Townhouse Toy Store, and I think these small mini modular buildings are an unsung hero of the LEGO Creator line. As a big Brickheads fan, I'm also super excited about the Lucky Cat Brickheads, and I really love this new birthday set, so if you're thinking about buying me something for my birthday, check this one out. And while not technically a set, I had to include the LEGO DC Comics Superheroes minifigures as I'm just a huge Superheroes fan. And while I'm also upset about the $5 price, I'm just gonna have to pick them up anyway. And now the number one set that I'm most excited about is of course, the LEGO Chinese New Year Temple Fair set. While this line is certainly not for everyone, this set packs in so much detail in a rich and authentic way. And this entire set is packed with exclusive pieces, exclusive prints, and exclusive colors. And the other reason why I'm super excited about this one is that I missed out on the other two Asia exclusive sets that we couldn't get in this country. So I'm glad they expanded that this year. The honorable mention here is of course the Lion Dance set. This set may be cheaper than the Temple Fair set and include that amazing exclusive Year of the Rat minifigure. And honestly, it was almost too close to call, but I just had to make a judgment call based on the sheer volume included in the Temple Fair set. I'm super excited to hear what you thought about my list and to find out the sets that you're most excited about. And don't forget, all these sets come out on January 1st, and I've included links in the description below if you want to pick any of them up. So there you have it, folks. That was this week in bonus LEGO news, and there's definitely a lot to be excited about. With the split up of LEGO and Warner Brothers, I'm curious if any more concept art or even early set images will be coming out. And I'm still getting even more excited for LEGO Masters. And I'm curious to hear what you guys thought about my top 10 sets that I'm most excited about. While they may not necessarily be the best sets, I can't wait to see these ones when I go to the LEGO store on the first. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up down below as it really helps the channel. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll be back next Saturday with even more LEGO news. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think about all the stories? And which one are you most excited about? And now we've got this week's giveaway winner. Congratulations! And be sure to email me from the about page on my channel so we can coordinate about the prize. And if you want to enter this week's round, just leave me a comment about this week's news. You must be a subscriber to win and definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks and have a good one. Hey guys, Michael here. Click here to watch my last LEGO news video featuring the LEGO Star Wars video game, Warner Brothers and LEGO splitting up and so much more. And don't forget to subscribe.